Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a special announcement. I just hit 1k subscribers last week and so I decided to make some PGMMV only imports that I've always wanted when I start creating a game. It's going to help jump start your games. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so here we start on my itch page, Bazarat Creates at itch.io. And you can scroll down, you'll see one of my new assets released. It's called PGM only RTP imports, music, sound effects, and particles. So if you click on it, you'll see that this is a PGM only, meaning that you can only use this if you have PGM. And it's all the RTP that is included throughout the samples and the example games. And so you can see that there's 120 plus BGMs, 380 plus sound effects, and 380 plus particles. I also go over some information about you know, which ones I used. I was very specific and I did it all according to the EULA. For instance, Dungeon of Nazarick and La Mulana 2 samples do not have the music because we cannot use them commercially. However, the particles, the Dungeon of Nazarick and the La, Mul uh, La Mulana 2 samples did not have custom images associated with them, with the particles, so you can use them. So I, I made sure to specify all this. And then you can go down here to the bottom and you can see that here is the PGM export. Here's the particle one, and then here's the music and sound effect one. So you download them and then you can install instructions if you're not familiar with importing and exporting. All right, so we have this. So why the need? Why, why did I want to create this all in one pack and the the biggest thing that I saw when I create games is that it's very hard to get all these organized into one. So that that's the main reason. And let me show you what I mean by that. Let me open up a project here. All right, so here we are in a newly created project. If we go to resources, we can see we don't have background music. We also don't have sound effects. And the only particles that we have, whoops, not import, uh, add, here we go. Uh, we only have the 20 plus uh, particle templates that the engine provide. So we want to make this game, we want to have some some good assets to at least be placeholders, good, decent placeholder assets. Well, one way is, is we can search through these sample projects and gather some of these. All right, so I'm going to close this. And I'm going to open the x hunter. This is one of the example games. If you say to not create a blank project, and you choose top down, you'll get this project. And we can see that in the resources here, we have the background music, we have sound effects, and we also got some particles that we could use. Now the particles are easy, you can just right click and you can export that particle. So we could export export individual particles, but then we'd have to go through every sample project to get them all. But with resources like the BGMs and sound effects, we can't right click and uh, export it. Matter of fact, to make it even worse, when we go to file and open the project folder in the audio, we get a bunch of a BGM number and then sound effects with a number that the engine associates with this individual resource. That's how it processes things. So it's not going to name it the same name that is in here. Now this can be really hard to find the one that you're looking for, especially in a pack like this, when you where you've got a, t a lot of BGMs and a lot of sound effects, 150 plus sound effects. So trying to find the one that is exactly it is going to be hard. All right, and then to even go further, we would have to go through all these sample project uh, projects to see which ones we like, because you know, you, you'll be searching, you'll find one you like, and then you'll want to keep searching. So you'd have to create one of these sample projects, go through it, try to find it, and then, and then uh, put it into your game and stuff like that. So I wanted to bypass all of that. And so now we can just go into that new game and we can import things a lot easier. So for the, let's start with the music. So it's gonna be the music and the sound effects. That is gonna be done in an object. So you're going to import this object. It's going to be that, export that PGM export that you download from the site. It's got a little bit of info. You're going to click OK, and it's going to import this object, which now if we click on, we can see a little bit about. Okay, so we can see that this is just saying that these are all free to use non commercial. These are the SF uh, sound effects. And then this side is the BGMs. So now when we click on one, we can see the side and the top view. 
So the universe and the X Hunter sound effects. And then we can see that there is, I made a audio playback containing that sound effects. So that way, when we exported this object or when I exported the object, it exported the sound effects with it. So then when you import it, now you can go to the resource here and you can have all the background music and the sound effects that come with that object. Now, the one thing is, is they are all in one folder. So do note that. But one nice way to use this, and you can move this around, you could drag this up here, for instance, you could get rid of that. And so now you just have one folder that you go. And one thing that you would probably do is you would go and you would look through these and start to play them and you'd say, okay, so I like this one. And so you implement this one in your game. So I would drag it out of the folder. I would say, this is my uh, teleport. And then I would close, close the rest down. So now you have specifically which ones you're using in the game. And then these ones are just the pack. And that way, when you, when it's all said and done at the end of your project, you can just delete the pack and you won't have any of that extra uh, resources and memory. All right, I'm just going to keep this here for now. And then you can see the same with the background. So let's just say that you wanted to further customize these. You could also create an object and just say that you wanted the uh, still sword story sound effects. And that's the only sound effects that you ever use. You can come down here and find the still sword story. You can copy this action in your new object. You can paste that action in there and then you can export this object. And now this will be a still sword story, uh, sound effect specific import for you. And so that way it could just be a quick import for you. And that would be one way to do it. Now, the other thing to, to note is that say you're using these resources and you kind of want to uh, give credit to the sample project, or you're just wondering what sample project did that come from. I want to see that sample. You can go into the resource here and you can look up, let's say one that's not named. So let's do, uh, uh, let's go, this is the background. Let's do a sound effect. Yeah. Sound effects are more, they're, they're more not named. You can see that they're just kind of all over the place. So let's see this teleport one. I want to see where that one was. You can look right here and it's in the Caro blaster sound effects. So it's a Caro blaster sound effect. And you can also, if you didn't know, right click and move and it will take you to that action that it's in. All right, so that's pretty useful. And then to be honest, you can even delete this object entirely. So you could just get rid of this object, delete it, and it would still retain the resources because the object came and imported all of it with it. So you don't need the object. I only left this and organized it like this so that it would be easy for you to know what is what. And do notice that it does contain the free Steam DLC music packs. Okay, so now let's talk about the particles. So in the animation here, you're going to go to import animation. And then we're going to import the particle one that you download. It's going to have a little bit of info. And what the info is saying is that not only are you importing the template, but you're also importing the image that come with some of these. I think normally the PGM stops right here. So, so normally there's only this from here, all of this row, this row, this row, and then it starts about here. So all these other ones are all custom images that you'll find throughout these particles. And if you don't want one of these particles, you can simply just delete it and it will be gone. You can add a particle or a image in the same fashion there. So you don't need these images, but just note that they do import. And all of these were from the free to use commercial and non-commercial. And so you can just find the one that you want. Again, the naming is going to be uh, very specific and you'll, you'll have to find your own naming conventions probably, but, and then you could create your own ones that you like as far as exports go. And then similar to the BGM and sound effects, it would probably be a good idea to, when you find a particle you like, to drag it out, name it your own, and then at the end of your game project, you can then delete the particles and you are only left with the one that you wanted. And so anyway, I hope this 
asset is nice. This importable asset is nice. I know it's going to help me when I join a game jam, want to get a game up and running quickly, and I can use these awesome particle templates. I can use the, the background music and the sound effect music as well. Now, I would keep a lookout, maybe follow me on itch if you want, because I am going to do similar stuff with the images. So if I go back into, um, no, I don't really need to save it. If I go back into the X Hunter here, there's a ton of images that are just awesome as far as RTP goes. And if you want to see what you can really do with RTP, you check out my game, uh, Legend of Jump Jump. That was all RTP pretty much. There was, I had to use a boss sprite from it, it, itch or something, but it was all RTP. There's a lot of good stuff in here. And so I'm going to compile um, a lot of these images as well so that they're just a one stop go because you don't, there shouldn't be a reason why you have to, because you can't export these as well. So there's no reason why you should have to try to look through all of these, which by the way, images also are numbered. The only thing that's a little easier is that we can actually see what they are. So it's the only thing that is a little easier. But this one's going to take some time because these tile sets are all different sizes and I'm, I want to find the best way to organize them into exportable objects. So anyway, for now we've got the particles, background music and sound effects, which are universal, no matter what project you're into, you just got to find the one that fits. So yeah, thank you for the subs. There will definitely be more content. And with that, I'll see you at the next video.